Sherry Golding relies on her husband, Howard, to get around the house. Come on, then. She has chronic kidney failure. Back in February, she was rushed to hospital with a severe infection. While she was there, the junior doctors held a two-day strike. The couple says hospital staff struggled nice to cope. One. Down you come. It, it was very obvious for the two days that the junior doctors were on strike that there was a, 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 a level of middle management on the ward that was missing. Um, the nurses did a very good job of um, maintaining the status quo and, and bless them, they, they really are angels. But the consultants would come round in the morning and unless you were desperately ill, it was very obvious for those two days that they just kept you in a holding pattern. Um, nothing changed, nothing was written up, medications didn't change, um, and you, you were really left, it, it felt like a weekend. And is it just a case of feeling frustrated, or do you feel at all sort of vulnerable in that situation? I, I think you can't help but feel that the patients are vulnerable. Um, that there wasn't the service level um, the, the wards we were on, or the ward we were on at the time, was uh, a high dependency unit. If you needed a, a high strength painkiller, um, that it took twice, three times as long. And it, the, the, the nurses were exhausted by the end of their shift because they were having to do all the running around because there were no junior doctors there to rely upon. What um, do you fear about the next doctor's strike, which is obviously a a different type of strike because um, for the first time ever emergency care won't be covered by junior doctors. I would not want to be ill for the next strike. Yeah. I really yeah. would not want to be ill or in hospital requiring um, almost one-to-one -one care because if there isn't that level of management between the consultant and the nurse it, it, it seems to fall apart. I suddenly wouldn't want to go into a and &E if there's... No, you wouldn't want to go into a and &E if you were reliant on consultants. But do you, do you condemn the junior doctors for doing what they're doing or do you simply say, well, it needs sorting, somebody sort it? Mm. I, I neither condemn nor applaud what the junior doctors are doing. But I, they do do a good job. They do a wonderful job. Somebody somewhere has got to give and I think it's got to be the Department of Health.